It's 2021 and you're probably wondering, should I buy a house this year? Hey, I'm Josh Frapp here, realtor with the Coastal Life Realty team. Today, we are gonna help you determine if you should even buy a home this year. The answer is yes. You should buy a home, but we wanna help you determine if you should buy a single family home or should you consider a condo. Now, the reason why we're bringing this up is because I would say nine times out of 10, we have most of our clients, they're considering a single family home and they don't even wanna entertain a condo. So I totally understand that. When I was buying my house, it was the same thing. You know, I did not even wanna consider a condo, but looking, at, looking back at it now, what I know now, and what I didn't know then, I know that there is absolutely a great way to build wealth with real estate. So today, let's run through all the options why you should consider buying a condo and how it can help you get into the home of your dreams. So here are the five things that we need to run through to help you determine if you should be buying a single family home or a condo this year. All right, item number one is determining what is most important to you. Is it finding your dream home? If it's to find your dream home, then most commonly we need to look at are you a first time home buyer, right? What is your price point? And what is the market like that you're competing in? So with this market that we're seeing across the country at this point, it's very, very competitive and it really helps to determine where you really fall as far as the competition. Are you looking at the, the at least in our market in Newburyport, in Southern New Hampshire, in most of Massachusetts, the median price point for a lot of first time buyers now is in the low 400s. And we're hoping, you know, you can find something in the high threes, but that's slowly becoming a thing of the past. So if you're in that price point, we need to look at what are the trends here? What are other people doing to buy a house? How competitive is it? And if you're competing with the masses for that same house, that same product, then it might be very, very challenging. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't not buy a house because we all know that if you don't buy now, you don't buy this year, most likely the prices are gonna be even higher come next year because it just, it's been going up and up and up. And we just don't know exactly when there's going to be any sort of correction, if there is a correction. But what we do know is that homeowners are building wealth. So let's digest this a little further. If you're looking for your first home, we need to think about, are you gonna find it right here, right now with this price point? And it's not a bad thing to not be able to find your dream home. It is a great thing, however, to be able to start building wealth so that you can get your dream home. Now, the second thing we need to think about is the price point that you're at. We already touched on this and where it falls for you, whether you're a first time home buyer, where you're looking, but that really does matter so much because if right now what your capabilities are, let's just throw out a number. If you're at 375 in a market where most single family homes are around 375 on the lower end or higher around 425, we know that it's going to be tough because the buyer demand for a home is very high and the inventory for sales is very low. So we have a high buyer inventory, or a high buyer demand rather, with a low seller inventory. And that means that if you're falling into that price point where a lot of other people are, it can be difficult. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that if you are okay with building wealth by finding a home that is, let's say a condo, it could be a really, really good option for you because you're gonna be able to buy something at maybe a price point that works for you. Maybe it's in an area that you truly want where you're not able to find the home that you want in that geographic location or in that price point. And what we've seen is we have people that are considering that condo option and they may stay in there for anywhere between two to three years and they're gonna end up building wealth. So now the third thing we need to consider is what your plans are as far as where you're going to live for how long. This is important because a lot of homeowners, this statistically, a lot of homeowners 
owners are only in their home for about five to seven years for their first purchase. Most homeowners will move anywhere from three to four times in their lifetime, if not more. That's something that's not really discussed. It's not really understood until you become a homeowner and life changes and you're ready to add more square footage, you're ready to relocate, whatever the case may be. So knowing that a lot of people that buy their first purchase don't end up staying there for more than five to seven years, this is where maybe it makes sense to say, okay, if our price point is here, should we consider a condo knowing that our dream home is 600,000, but we're not quite there. So maybe we should consider living in this condo for anywhere from two, three, four, ten 10 years, whatever it may be for you. So that's a great way to build that wealth and be able to transition into that next phase where you now have equity and you're able to put more down or you've had time to actually grow your income and assets. And now the fourth reason you should consider whether or not you want to go condo or single family home is understanding the costs that are associated with home ownership, whether it's at the single family level or if it's with the condo. I know there's a lot of conversation about condo costs, the, the monthly costs that go into the homeowners association or any sort of monthly fees that are that go towards landscaping, towards master insurance, towards any sort of exterior maintenance. That, that stuff may seem like it adds up, but you really wanna look at how much is it gonna cost you to do that all on your own. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes if you have a property that's a single family home, it may have a long driveway that requires a little bit more work than you anticipated as far as getting that snow off the driveway every time we have a snowstorm. I know for myself, I don't, I don't shovel anymore. <laughs> I'm just burnt out with that. So I am usually hiring out a plowing service. And it's just a matter of thinking ahead and saying, okay, what are all the, the costs that are gonna be associated? How much am I gonna spend each year, each winter season on plowing? Is that going to accumulate to something comparable to what I'm spending in my condo fees to take care of that for me. So with all the fees that are in play here with living at a condo, living at a home, sometimes they're almost identical. If you really are able to break them down, sometimes they're polar opposite. It all depends on what you're looking for, what kind of lifestyle you truly wanna live and what your finances are really gonna look like. And now the last thing, the fifth reason you want to think about buying a condo is that Honestly, life is short and you should buy a home because renting is not going to get you where you wanna go as far as financial freedom, home ownership, building equity, and having that piece of the pie, having your own home finally. A condo is a great place to start. It's certainly something that has been used over and over again for a lot of people to start somewhere and build wealth a very, very stable, and structured way for them. So I highly recommend considering all options. It may not be for you, but maybe it's something that you just never considered. We'd be happy to help you consider, figure out whether or not it's a good fit for you. If you wanna call me directly, my number is 978-994-9587. Be happy to help you get started, figure out a good strategy for you this year, and make sure that you can buy a home, whether it's a single family home or it's a condo. All right, thanks for watching.